This is the paper pattern I will be using to make the leather card holder. It requires two copies of the pattern, one for the front and one for the back. I will start by cutting out all of the sections of the paper pattern. This is one set complete. The project requires one more pattern set. I will be using this crocodile leather hide for the exterior of the card holder. This hide is around 2 meters long in a Himalayan crocodile color with a matte finish. This is the section I will use for the project with another set opposite for the other side of the card holder. I will start by cutting out this rectangular section from the hide so I can work with a more manageable size. Now I will divide the crocodile into two sections. They will form the front and the back of the card holder. Apply the pattern to the crocodile leather and cut out each section in the correct orientation that they will be assembled. This will make the card holder look better as the crocodile scale and color pattern will be matching on each side of the project. Next, I need to taper down the lower section of each crocodile strip by skiving. This will reduce the height of the lip where it joins with the lining leather. You need to be a lot more careful when skiving crocodile as the grooves around the scale pattern are quite deep. This is the leather I will be using to line the inside of the pockets. This piece is a calfskin with a glossy finish like shell cordovan. It has been skied down to 0.5mm thick. Simply cut the lining leather into rectangles according to the pattern. Now that all of the pieces of the pattern are cut out, I will stick the crocodile strips onto the top of each pocket liner. Start by marking out the gluing area, then apply contact cement to all of the sections. Carefully stick on the crocodile with the tops of both leathers aligned together. Next I will trim off the top 3mm according to the pattern. This will give a nice clean top edge that will be easy to paint and finish. Cut out the trapezium section of the T-pocket patterns and use it to mark the bottom section of the T-pockets. Then trim off the excess material. This edge will be at the top of the card holder and must be completed now. Using dividers, mark in a 3mm stitching line. Then punch out the stitching holes using a chisel. The thread I will be using today is this Philo Chinois Lan Cable. It is a linen thread that is 0.63mm thick. Apply beeswax to the thread to lubricate it for stitching and saddle stitch this top side of the leather card holder. Cut the ends of the thread and use an awl to tuck the thread back into the hole and finish off with a dab of leather craft glue to lock the thread in place. Hammer down on the stitches to flatten them out. For this project, I'll be using Verni edge paint. I will use mostly white paint and mix in a touch of brown paint to create an off-white color that will best match the Himalayan crocodile. Apply only a thin first layer of paint to all of the pieces and leave them to dry. Next, I will apply a crease line to the edge, then sand and repaint with edge paint. Finish up the edges by applying wax and burnishing with a canvas cloth. The last step before assembly is to stamp the front pocket with gold foil. Here are all the pieces ready to be glued together. For this pattern design, the T-pockets are going to be overlapping like this. Use the pattern to mark the position of the top of each T pocket. Then mark out a 6mm gluing offset from the edge. 
apply contact cement to both pieces and stick them together. For the bottom of the tea pocket, I will use double sided fabric tape to hold the pieces together during stitching. Punch in the stitching holes using a chisel. Then saddle stitch the bottom of the first tea pocket. Cut the thread ends and then lock them in place with glue. Repeat the same process with the second tea pocket and then again with the front pocket. With the two halves assembled, mark in the limits of the final pattern design and trim off the 3mm excess from the two sides and the bottom. Before I glue the two halves together, I would chisel stitching holes into both sides separately. This will give the best looking stitching on the front and the back of the card holder. Mark in the 3mm stitching line with dividers. Then plan and mark in the position of all the stitching holes lightly with a chisel. This will make sure all the stitching holes will be evenly spaced and match up on the front and back of the card holder. Punch the marked stitching holes with a chisel. Then rough up the leather in the gluing area to improve bonding. Apply contact cement to both sections. Then carefully stick the two halves together, starting from the corner and working around the edges. Any mistakes here will make the stitching holes not be aligned. Apply pressure to the edges to make sure they are completely bonded together. After waxing the linen thread, Saddle stitch the remaining sides. Cut the ends of the thread and lock them in place with glue. Hammer down to flatten the stitches. Because the stitching holes were chiseled in from both sides separately, it makes the stitching look the same on the front and the back. Now let's finish off the remaining edges. Use sandpaper to smooth down the edges and apply a thin coat of edge paint using an awl. Edge crease carefully around the perimeter and use a hot creaser to smooth down the edge paint. Sand the painted edge completely smooth and apply a thicker layer of edge paint. Sand the edge again using finer sandpaper. This is after the fourth layer of edge paint. Now I will rub the edges with the paraffin and beeswax mix I made in the previous video. Then use the electric creaser on a low temperature setting to help smooth out the wax. Burnish the edge using canvas cloth until the edge is nice and polished. I have some more crocodile leather projects coming up, so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss them. And if you enjoyed the video, Please like and comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time.